I truly believe you can get a good mix that is formed from a static mix. One that doesn't move, no automation, nothing crazy going on. You can have a good mix that way, but a great mix. A great mix is where you go that extra step. You put in that extra effort to push things around, get stuff automated, fill things in. That's the magic of mixing, right? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of that magic to your drum mixes. Stay tuned and I'll show you what it's all about. Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the Mix Academy. I'm David Glenn with davidglennrecording.com and themixacademy.com. Today, we're going to take a look at stepping up your drum mixes with some drum fill automation. If you've got your mixes pushed up, they sound good, everything's clean, just kind of a static level, you're not doing it wrong, but there's something we can do to enhance that and make things pop a little bit more in the mixing process. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. I just exaggerated them for the sake of the tutorial so you can hear what's going on. But uh, I just want to inspire you guys, encourage you to take this, go to apply it to one of the mixes you've just finished or something from last year, or last week, whatever, and uh, see if you dig it and what kind of a difference it makes to your ear. Uh, so basically, I've got this snare fill here. And uh, I just added a little crescendo. Now, all the more drum fill automation is going to help increase the, uh, we'll call it dynamics of uh, drums that have been replaced like these have been. Uh, the snare, adding a little bit of love back in. If you've got a great drummer, they may have already done some of this stuff, but when we use compression and parallel processing and all that stuff, we can tend to remove some of what the drummer did. And so to put it back in or enhance it in the context of a mix, these tips should help you and I hope you enjoy it. So here's a little crescendo on the snare. Hopefully you can hear that. Check it out one more time. It drops and then I lift it up. So the snare is gradually coming in. You may dig that, but check it out, try it for yourself. Let me turn off that automation on these two tracks here and see what you think of this. Just, it comes in right away and it just stays at that one level. Whereas by using the automation, let's listen one more time without it. Just a bunch of one shots, right? And then with it, and again, that's exaggerated. You may not want those first two hits to be so quiet, but uh, just to inspire you to check it out. So crescendos for the snare fills. Let's also look, I think I had some, I've also pulled open, uh, what I'll do from time to time is pull my uh, drums bus and my parallel compression bus up to where the snare and the toms are so that I can visually see better and go through and pick out fills to in, uh, uh, enhance and whatnot. But here you can see I've got toms and snare again that I pulled up and I chose instead of using the snare track, because that's going to send more signal into the bus compression, I chose to actually just lift up the buses themselves. And so right there, just that snare fill, instead of doing a crescendo or anything, I just chose a little bit different approach. I chose to just lift up the volume, basically, of that snare fill. I think I had some tom fills in this one that I was messing with. I may be wrong. But, uh, yeah, you could do the same thing on toms if you have a... Uh, kick, snare, tom, fill, or something that happens, you can go through to your toms, or you can use the bus level. Another two-minute quick tip. I hope you guys enjoy that. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Do you dig this? Have you done it before? Go check out one of your previous mixes. Go in and just pull up kick, snare, tom, fills, and see how much of a difference it makes to your mix. So I hope you guys dig this. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Tons of free stuff in the link down below in the description there, and we'll catch you in the next one.